and we're going to kick off at around about nine so that's in i don't know nearly 30 seconds so is your 30 seconds warning graham thank you i'll, I'll, I'll do your breathing exercises <laughs> yeah <laughs> Okay, when you're ready, Graham. Yes. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the ISBA and ABE Virtual Business Summit, 13th of May, 2020. Today would have been the Anglia Business Exhibition at Trinity Park, but for obvious reasons, that has been postponed to the 8th of September. However, we still wanted to be able to bring the local business community together, so we're so excited to bring you an innovative and exciting online conference. At ISBAR, we are very proud of our business community and invite you to join with us in supporting each other as well as in celebrating our local businesses. We have lots of sessions throughout the day for you to choose from, which include live webinars, pre-recorded talks and networking sessions. As you walk around a physical exhibition, most people would love to collect the vast array of goodies on offer from exhibitors as well as entering prize drawers and giveaways. Don't be worried, we can't offer these pens and cupcakes, but we have a lot of virtual offers for you and benefits from well as so many prize drawers. Please, I ask you to share the event on social media and tell your contacts all about it. To log in to see us today is free to attend and more the merrier. We would like to thank all our sponsors, exhibitors and attendees for their support. And I hope that you all have an interesting, exciting and successful day. Thank you. Thank you, Graham. Um, it's super exciting to see so many people signing up for this event. I've just got a few housekeeping tips for you because for some of you, this might be a completely new experience. So just a few tips to help you navigate your way around. When you signed up, you will have had the opportunity to choose sessions and the sessions that you have registered for you'll receive an email when it's about to start and that will have a link that will allow you to go through and um, land on that page which will have all the information you need to connect to that session um, if you have any problems then you can just reply to uh, the emails you've received and we should be able to help you some of the sessions, as Graham mentioned, are pre-recorded, so they will actually just play on the landing page when you go to the talk. And some of them are webinars like this, so when you go to the page, it will give you a link to come through to the webinar. The webinars will be recorded, but it will take us a few minutes to download the recording and then put it back up onto the summit page for you to watch later. So those ones might take a little time um, to actually show. But once a talk has started, you can, if it's a pre-recorded one, you can just watch it back. Um, and if it's a webinar, then you can click on the link and just come join us. Um, the other thing to mention is that if you see new talks, you can just add them to your schedule by clicking on the button. And if you get annoyed with the emails, like you're attending all the sessions one after the other and you don't need an email to remind you to hop in, you can just unsubscribe at the bottom of the emails. But if you're kind of dropping in for one or two sessions during the day, they're quite useful to remind you that there's a session coming up. Um, we do have a code of conduct for this event. Hopefully we won't need it, but please do make it have a look. It outlines um, what we what behaviours we don't want to see from people who are attending and from speakers, basically. So any problems, there are some contact details on the code of conduct. You can contact us directly. Um, other than that, I think that's all we need to say really. We do have a hallway track running and that's kind of like our virtual equivalent to bumping into people in the coffee queue or like when you're going between sessions and you happen to, to um, bump into someone and that is a Zoom room which is open throughout the event. We'll have breakout rooms available as well so if you want to talk to someone specifically maybe after a talk you want to speak to the speaker we can move you into a smaller room where you can have a smaller chat with a group of people so um, the other thing to mention is if you have any questions in a zoom call like this there's a raise your hand button which allows you to virtually raise your hand and tell us that you have a question 
that you would like either to ask to the speaker or to you could need some help with. So you can do that and there's a Q&A button on the bottom bar which will allow you to ask questions as well. I think that's all I had to say. Marie, was there anything that you wanted to add at all? No, I don't think so. I don't think there was anything else. I think you pretty much covered it. Thank you. Great. There's only one point that I'd like to add into this, that we have had an additional speaker put in um, mm. today, as Ruth knows, of whether she'd like to explain why and how that will run. Yeah, so uh, I forgot to mention that. Thanks, Graham. We had a speaker who was unfortunately unable to uh, speak today. So we've been able to slot in a, a session that is at a, a 10 40. So if you just have a look at the schedule, you'll see Kay's session on health and well being in lockdown is coming just before the mid morning session. So you may not have signed up for that one because you may not have known about it. So if you're interested, you can just hop on there and click add to schedule and then you'll get the information sent to you. So yeah, thanks for the reminder, Graham. I forgot about that one. Pleasure. Okay, so the, the next session that we're running is actually networking. So if you've never done virtual networking before, it is great fun. That's going to be taking place in the hallway track. So if we head over there from here, um, we'll have a general uh, introduction and then we'll go into breakout rooms where you'll be with a smaller group of people and you can get to know a bit more about who they are, what they're doing and share with them whatever you'd like to talk about. So once the webinar is done, if you hop over to the schedule, you'll see the morning session, which starts at 9.20. So that's in about 10, 15 minutes. So you've got enough time to grab a cup of coffee. And um, we'll see you there. Thank you, everyone, for joining us this morning. And we hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you.